What a horrible way to go out. Cuber just fragged another bad guy. And I think that's a bottomless pit. That means that he just falls forever. Slowly dying from starvation and boredom. Or until your 5200 breaks. I guess that bottomless pit isn't quite so bottomless. How deep is the bottomless pit? I don't know, about 30 seconds. That hurts my head just thinking of that. So these characters' fate, their very existence, their life is in a way controlled by the quality of the video game hardware on which they're being played. Man, no wonder they're bad guys. I'd be pissed too if I was inside the Atari 5200. Here's another game, another one of these awesome arcade games that comes to the Atari 5200 and... and is, well, pretty subpar. The Atari 2600 has a playable version of Qbert. The ColecoVision version of Qbert is outstanding. That's the one I'll recommend for an old school game console. Here in the 5200, it doesn't look all that great, and the uh, the controls are kind of crappy. The game itself is good. I mean, Qbert's a terrific video game. But uh, yeah, this is a short review. Qbert on the 5200. It's you you can pass on this one. Now, uh, it's somewhat similar to Frogger in that you have to push the button to jump, but... But at least... <laughs> Qbert is better than Frogger. At least you can hold down the button and then just move the joystick to jump. In Frogger, you had to actually push, push a direction and then push the button to jump. That was the most horrible control scheme I think I've ever seen. In this game, you hold down the button to jump, but then just continuously hold it down, push the joystick, in one of four directions, but it's just not entirely clear, you know, what, what direction you're pushing. Sometimes you'll mean to jump up and to the right, and you'll accidentally push some other horrible direction. Uh, while, while this game is playable, the Atari 5200 controller does it no favors. You don't need analog movement, it's, it's just not clear at times what direction you're really pushing. Hey, Qbert found the bottom to that pit with his head. Good job, Cubert.